Welcome to Jesus People Full of Faith Ministries. If you are a first-time guest, please give us a wave or comment online. Welcome. Join us on Wednesday nights at 7 o'clock p.m. for our Faith Fill-Up services. Stay connected to the Full of Faith family by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Our channel name is JP Full of Faith. Our Hour of Power prayer ministry needs you. See Sister Joy Carter for more information and get involved. Quarterly business reports are available in the lobby at the information desk for Full of Faith partners only. The administrative offices will be closed Tuesday, July 27th through Friday, July 30th. Upcoming events. Back to school prayer rally for all students Sunday, August 15th at our 10 o'clock a.m. service. In need of school supplies or know a student who does? Then email us here at fulloffaith at jpfof.org their name and email address or phone number. Full of Faith Partners, get ready for a time of fasting and prayer in August. Stay tuned for more information. I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Nelson Mandela. Have an amazing week. Hope you all govern yourselves accordingly to those announcements. We have a lot of stuff coming up, back to school, prayer rally. I remember when I was in high school, such a great time. But <laughs> fasting and prayer in the month of August, all of those events are very crucial to this ministry. So I pray that you guys govern yourselves and remember. See, now don't forget because y'all like to remember the event like the day before or the night before. No, remember it now. Put it in your calendars. Remember it now so that you guys are not out of place and out of order. So this next group of people are a very important group of people to this ministry. They're like the backbone here. What church is a church without their executive board? So I would like to have the board come up and present my parents with a little token of appreciation and celebration for their birthdays. So if you could guys make your way up here, please. everyone welcome 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 we're here today to honor our pastor and honor lady j this morning would you two stand please what a pleasure it is to honor pastor ed williams this morning we thank god for you pastor we thank god that you deserve this honor we thank you that you're in the word of god that you bring it to us what holy spirit reveals to you and we thank God for the vision that you have. And we know that you will continue on. This vision will come to pass. And we want you to know that we love you. We're behind you. And we appreciate everything that you do. What a giving heart this man of God has. Always willing to help wherever he can. So we thank God for that. We certainly thank God for you, Lady J. What a woman of God. I thank God for the anointing that rests on your life. I thank God for everything that you didn't even know was inside of you. But I told you God was going to bring it out. So look at God bringing it out. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your pressing through. We thank you for the peace of God that rests on you both. And we love you today. We wanted to do a little extra today to just overshadow you with cards. So we have cards for each one of you, and we love you and appreciate you so much. Lady J, 
This is on behalf of the church, your family, Jesus People for the Faith Ministry. We love you. Lady J, my You're doing a great job, daughter. Keep up the good work. I love you. Mommy is here to support you in every endeavor that you try to do. You will do it because God is in you. I remember telling you and writing in the Bible a long time ago that I gave you. I told you to trust in the Lord that He had something for you to do. And I guess this is it. I'm going to get the Bible that long to you and read it on behalf of my son in love I call it my son because anytime I need anything this is from my heart he will do it he will do it Lady J and I get into it don't bother him don't bother him mom I said I don't care what you say I'm gonna ask to do it he comes through every time and son you know I say I'm here for you. I love you with all my heart. And I'm going to support you all the way to the end. And that's when Jesus comes. Love you. Happy anniversary. Happy birthday. Hallelujah. All right. Let's give it up one more time for Pastor Ed and Lady J. See, now don't cry. You know, I'm not going to cry. Okay. Well, then I want to say something because I can't let them outshine your own son. I mean, that's not happening. So, oh, uh, wow. I have a lot to say, but I'm not going to say a lot. Um, you guys have been there for me since the beginning of time, like literally the beginning. Not too many people are blessed to say that they have two parent figures that are in their lives, all of their lives. So I thank God every, every day for providing me with two stable loving, beautiful, on top, wise, intelligent parents. I love you guys so, so much. I don't know the etymology of the word parent, but you guys fit every description, every definition you guys fit. I love you guys. So y'all don't know what that word means? Etymology? Okay. Anyways, sorry. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> I just want to say that I love you guys so, so much, but I want to give a special shout out to my mom. If you know me, you know I am, a, I am a mama's boy all day, every day. So I want to give a special shout out to my mom. Mom, you are doing an amazing job. An amazing job. Thank you so much. No crying, mom. See, now don't cry because you make me cry. All right, here we go. See, I know we don't cry, but when I see her crying, it just makes me cry but I just want to say mom I love you so much you are the woman of my life I love you forever I love you so so much anything that you need I'm here for you I'm here to make you proud I would do whatever I have to do to make you proud and I mean that for real so happy birthday even though it's just one day, it really cannot show how much I love and appreciate you from the bottom of my... Oh, see? Oh, that got me teared up. This was not part of the plan. Well, I love you so, so much. And I hope that I can find a wife who can try to match up to your standards because they can't top you. But they can try, but they won't. Mit, mit, they all can try, but they won't. They won't. They really won't. They will be un unsuccessful. But... I love you so, so much, and I'm always here for you. 
as your son, I'm going to make you proud. I will go above and beyond the expectations that you have for me. He said something at my graduation party that really just serenaded with me all along. And it was when I look at my son, I wonder how, how did he become something that his parents are not? And I really just want to say, you guys are my main, mo mo like, like the motivation factor for me. When I look at you guys, I'm like, that's what I want to be in life. You guys push me to do better things, all the good grades, all the everything, graduated with honors, everything was for you guys. You guys are my motivation and I long to be as, as um, powerful and inspirational and influential in my community as you are in yours. So I really thank you guys so, so much. And see, my parents thought that they were gonna get a video today with some nice, you know, pictures and videos of them. Wrong, incorrect. See, y'all think that y'all can predict me. I'm unpredictable. I mean, you can't really do that. So I decided that it would be great to make a nice video of all of our partners, our friends and family from near and far, just telling them happy birthday and showing them their love and appreciation for them. See, don't cry during the video too. Oh gosh. Let's run it. I love you guys so, so much. And hopefully this is just a small token of appreciation that I can show. And so that everyone else can show how much they really do love and appreciate you. It's your birthday, shouty. Uh, I know you feel much lighter, so much brighter. Happy birthday, Pastor Ed and Lady J from the Johnson family. We wanted to say we love you. We wish you guys many, many more to come. And we're so thankful that you guys are in our lives. Yes, we are. Happy birthday and many, many more. Happy birthday, <laughs> Pastor Cuzzo and Cuzzo Lady J. We want to wish y'all a very, 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 very happy birthday. We love y'all so much. We don't know when the turn up gonna be, but we wanna be there to celebrate with y'all, which is probably <laughs> today. And we just wanted to say we love you guys so much and you guys are really doing an awesome job and we're honored to be connected to you all. Yep. At Full of Faith. That part. And we ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. So Period, poo. <laughs> once again, we wanna just say, happy, happy birthday. birthday. And we love y'all. We love you. More than everybody else. Like we supposed to be the favorite. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Mm -hmm. don't. Good morning, Pastor Ed, Lady J. Happy birthday from the Jenkins family. We love you. We appreciate you. Happy birthday, Pastor Ed and Lady J. I was honored to give a birthday shout out to you all. I went and got my hair curled. Anyway, I'm just saying. I just want to wish you both a happy birthday. May God continue to bless you to see many, many, many more. And I am honored to be a part of the Full of Faith family. Love you. God bless you both. Bye. Happy birthday, Pastor Ed. Happy birthday, Lady Jessie. I love you guys. I thank God for you. I thank God for our church, and I thank God for the work that you have done through here. And I just am grateful for the presence that you have in my life and my family's life for praying over us, for covering us, and being who you are, being your authentic selves. Uh, I just really, really am grateful to be under your tutelage. And um, I just want to wish you all the many more birthdays forever and ever. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pastor Jesse and Pastor Ed. We love you. Much, 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 much. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Good morning, Pastor Ed and Lady Jacedria. Just want to wish you a very special happy birthday. God bless you with many more years of birthday celebrations. What a blessing it is to be a part of Jesus People Full of Faith Ministries. May you have continued divine health, favor, and many, many blessings. Have a blessed day. Hi, family. I'd like to say happy anniversary to my wonderful and loving daughter and son in love, Ed Sr. And Lady J, I mean Jacedra Charlotte. Hope you enjoy your special day. I would also like to say happy birthday to Edward Sr. who will be celebrating his birthday on Saturday, July 24th. And to my loving daughter who will celebrate her birthday on Thursday, July 29th. May God continue to bless you both with good health, love, prosperity, and all the things you desire in life. Love you, mommy. 
Hello, Jesus people full of faith ministries. This is the right extending greetings to you all the way from the sunny isles of Nassau, Bahamas, the big 242. Happy birthday, Pastor Ed and Lady Dracedra. Wishing you long life and lots of happiness. We, we love, love you. Birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. expecting that I thought he was working on something else and he surprised me with that but thank you so much listen I want to say again welcome to all our first time guests and to say thank you to all of you for coming out and celebrating with us but if you'll do me just one favor if you'll stand to your feet with me and help me celebrate the king of kings help me celebrate the lord of lords I'm thankful for celebrating me but come on I don't know how you want to celebrate him but let's celebrate the author the finisher of our faith. Come on and let's celebrate the I am that I am. Come on and let's celebrate he who was and is to come. Come on and help me celebrate the one and true living holy God. Come on and help me celebrate. Come on in this place. You can do a little bit better than that. I'm talking about Jesus, the one that woke you up this morning, the one that started you on your way. Come on and bless the Lord with me. We will exalt his name together. Come on magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. God, we praise you in this place. We honor you in this place, Father. For you are the glory and the lifter of our heads. Come on. People of God, I love you. I'm talking about our God. I'm talking about our daddy. I'm talking about our provider. I'm talking about the one who provides for you and make ways for you. I'm talking about the one that gives you peace in the midnight hour. I'm talking about the one that turned things around for you. I'm talking about the one that by your stripes you are healed. Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, one thing we desire, Lord God, and that will we seek after that we will dwell in the house of the Lord. Is that your testimony in here this morning? God, there's nobody like our God. God, we will look to the hills when we come with our help. All of our help comes from you, Father. Hallelujah. God, we bless you in this house. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord Jesus. I love the birthday celebrations and I'm thankful for all the gifts, the texts, the calls, and just saying the showers of love, but if it had not been for God, keeping me, hallelujah, keeping you, hallelujah, if it had not been for God, hallelujah, saying not this one, the blood is on this one, saying not this one, you can't have this one, this one is mine, I don't know about you, but I thank God that I'm able to stand and to say that for God I'll live and for God I'll keep living and for God I'll keep living, hallelujah, my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or think, well go ahead and take your seats, I'm going to put this young lady, I'm going to put her on the spot. Come on up here, Miss India Graham Stevens. Come on, come on, come on. Now, see, I texted you and asked you orderly, but you didn't respond. So now, since you're here, you're going to come on and give us something. Hallelujah. We need a microphone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord God for his goodness. I thank the Lord God for his mercy and his favor and his grace and his peace and his kindness and his mercy and his forgiveness. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is good to me. I don't know about you, but he's been a good God to me. And he told me the other day, he said, you ain't seen nothing yet. I said, I said, you use those kind of words? He said, yes, yeah, so I can get you to understand. Hallelujah. That I'm able to do. I'm a big God. And there's none like me. I'm all outside of what you think. And see, you think you know, but you don't even know. You haven't even scratched the surface. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you this morning, God has some great things in store for you. But you got to stay, stand fast. You got to stay steadfast. See, people will try to come and do things, but you got to say, Father, I thank you, Lord God, that your will will be done. 
through me in this earth. Hallelujah. In this lifetime, I said, I'm going to see a victory. How about you? That's right. And so we're walking in victory. We're walking in faith. We're walking. We're believing God for great things in our lives. And so we're believing it for you too. Hallelujah. We're not those kind of leaders here that we're going to be on one level and you on another. We're in this together. Hallelujah. And so I love you guys so much. Well, listen, whatever's on your heart, woman of God, come on and, and just sing it from your heart. We, we ain't got no track or you ain't got no, no, hallelujah. Jesus ain't had no tracks. He ain't have no mics, no background singers, no stems and everything else. He just got there and talked. Hallelujah. So that's what we going to do this morning. Now, I know you're going to get me later, but that's okay. I know your mama. Me um, clear myself. I didn't get a text message, but I'll deal with her later on that, and we'll check with our data services. Um, wow, I'm so nervous, y'all. Oh, he- I know, man. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pastor Ed and Lady J. Um, I love you both. Um, I got my hair curled for the video, so <laughs> that says a lot. Um, I'm just gonna do this quick little song. Um, so take all my faith in that. Amen. All right. I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days. And some lonely nights. But when I I look around, and I think things over, all of my good days, how were my bad days, and I, I won't complain, sometimes the clouds hang low. I can hardly see the road, so I ask the question, Lord, why, why so much pain? You see, He knows what's best for me. Although my weary eyes, they cannot see.
into your presence this morning father you have truly met us here as we're celebrating the leaders of this house father but thank you lord god we're celebrating you being the king of our lives for you being the lord of our lives for you being the alpha and the omega you being our beginning and our end you being the author and the finisher of our faith father oh god we thank you lord god we realize and understand father that you are a good god and you do good things in the lives of your people that will remain faithful lord god that will remain trustworthy Lord God and God so we thank you right now that we're keeping our hand to the plow we're not letting go Lord God though we may get tired though we may grow weary Father God our hearts are still saying we praise you our hearts are still saying that we thank you Lord God God we honor you in this house Jesus anointing move among your people Holy Spirit have your way in this place Father God oh God you're worthy of all the glory honor and praise God, we know and understand if it had not been for you, Father. When we look back over our lives and when we think things over, as the song can say, I truly got a testimony that we are blessed. Hallelujah. God, we honor you, Jesus. We know you to be a way maker. Ha, Jesus. 
The anointing is so strong in this place, people of God. We know you to be a promise keeper, Lord God. We know you to be a faithful God, hallelujah, who stands by his word to perform it. God, we thank you for renewing in us, Lord God, creating in us a clean heart and renewing in us a right spirit, Lord God. Cast not your presence away from us, Lord God, but whatever you do, Father, don't take your spirit. Shout out, Aboko. God, we thank you. It's none like you. You're a holy God. None but the holy and none but the righteous can stand in your presence. God, we are you. We praise you, Father, even as I share these words of exhortation. Let the people, Lord God, be encouraged. Let the people of God be in power. Let the people of God know that they are called to be on top and not beneath. Let them know that they're already overcomers and they're already victorious, Lord God. I don't care looks like. I don't care what we're facing, Lord God. We will win. 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 Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because you've already overcome. You've already won. You've already victorious, Lord God. So we thank you in this house. Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Well, go ahead and take those brown seats and sit in them. Don't take them. Go ahead and sit in those brown seats. Hallelujah. I tell you, God is a good God who's doing amazing things in the lives of his people. I'm just so honored to be called a child of God. You know, it's something to say that you are people of God because there's a lot of people. But when you say that you are a child of God, that says something more. That says you have a relationship, a personal relationship where you can go before him and call him your daddy, your father. Hallelujah. He knows you by your name. Hallelujah. He says, what it is? What do you need? He attends his ear to your call. And he's right there. He said, there's nothing that I won't withhold from you. Hallelujah. But you got to believe that I'm able to do it. Well, listen, I'm going to share with you briefly this morning because... Really, this is a party, but I said, Father, we can't come to a celebration and not have some word from you, hallelujah, because I believe that's the best celebration of all. When we come before our Father and we, met and we begin to share his word, I'm telling you, I don't know about you, but it stirs something up on the inside of me, and it says, listen here, girl, as long as you got King Jesus, hallelujah, you don't need nobody else, hallelujah. Sometimes you feel like that, hallelujah, but thank God for Jesus being the Lord of our lives. I want to again say thank you to all of you. You know, I tell you, uh, I tell you all the time how much I love and appreciate you. But even so, as we're going through and we're just thanking God, I'm telling you, I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. Nothing has faltered. Nothing has stopped. We're like a locomotive um, train. We're chugga, 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 chugga. We're moving. That's right. We're moving in Christ. God's anointing is on this house. God's spirit is in this house. This is holy ground. And so I'm just amazed at how God is doing such great things in the lives of his people here at Full of Faith. I can't talk about no other church, but the parts here at Full of Faith, they always texting me or calling me or sharing with me. Lady Jesse, let me tell you what God has done for me. Let me tell you how God has shared this and did this for me through the teaching and through the leadership here at Jesus People Full of Faith, how we are propelling and we're excelling in things. And so so that's what it's all about. That's what ministry is all about. Not patting us on the back and thank God for that. But you taking this word and applying it in your life and you seeing the manifestations in your life. And so that's what we're about here at Jesus People Full of Faith. We're about seeing the manifestations in your life. And when we see that, I'm telling you, that's the biggest smile any parent can have when their kids come and share with us of how God is doing things in their lives. And so you ain't seen nothing yet either. The Lord told me that. He said, do we haven't scratched the surface there at Full of Faith? We have so many, so many people that we are called to be an impact to. I'm telling you, the man of God is even looking for bigger property. I said, well, Jesus, you know me. I'm like, okay, well, you, you think we're ready for that? Here, here I go. You think we're ready for that? He says, no, the Lord told me to do it, and so that's what we're doing. So y'all just keep us in prayer. God is doing some great things in the lives of the leaders here, and so I believe he's going to do the same thing in your life as you're connected here. Whatever's on the head is going to be on the body. Hallelujah. And so know that we are clean leaders. We go before the Father. We live a, a not a spotless life, but we live a life holy unto God. But most importantly, we know how to say, please forgive us, God. We thank you for forgiving us, and we get up, and we keep going. Hallelujah. We don't waddle there, and we don't stay there, but we keep moving in the things of God. And that's what he's calling us to do as his people. Well, listen, 
I'm going to share with you briefly. Um, if you don't mind, Walt, you can just stay there and play behind me if you don't mind because the time is already gone. But uh, many of you know that we here at Full of Faith have declared this as the year of the extraordinary. And so one day I was uh, walking back from pastor's quarters after uh, him and I were discussing some things. We're going to be doing some fasting and prayer coming up um, next month, so be listening out for that. Um, and so we were talking about some things, and I was coming back to the offices over here, and that banner just like hit me like that banner's been there since last year i see that banner tuesday through friday 10 to 4 and all of a sudden the banner just was like wow and so god begins to speak to me and he said you know what he said share with my people that that this is the year that i have declared that the partners in this house will see some extraordinary things and i know contrary to what you're believing contrary to what's going on contrary to your thinking guess what the year is not over with yet. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Lady Jess, we're more than halfway through the year. We're almost in the eighth month of the year, and I have yet to see the extraordinary in my life. That word extraordinary means going beyond the usual, not the natural, not the customary, customary, not the regular, but going beyond that. And I, I hear you say, well, what is God waiting on? I, I've been ready. And God said, I've been ready too. He says, I have been ready. I'm willing and able to do the extraordinary in my people's lives. He said, but they limit me because of their unbelief. He said, many of them don't believe that I can do what I said I can do. Many of them don't believe that I can do what they're asking and praying to me to do. Many of them try to limit me and put me in a box and put me on their level that I am not all powerful, that I'm not all knowing, and that I can do exceedingly and above and abundantly, but they limit me because of their unbelief. Because they really don't believe. God, can you really? God, do, do, can you really do that? But, but he told me to remind you today that people of God, listen. This is your year. Now is your time to see the uncommon, the unusual in your life. And so he told me, he said, listen, tell the people of God, first of all, they got to believe that I can do the impossible. In my word, it says that with God, all things are possible. Well, know that there is nothing that our God can not do for you in this house this morning. I want you to remember that. Put that in your thinking every day. I don't care what it is you're facing. Some of us are facing some things in here. I'm telling you, you see us and you think but baby if you only knew but we're going through some things but God says I specialize in those impossible situations that's when I'm at my best tell my people but first of all they got to believe that I can believe you got to have confidence you got to know you got to have no question no doubt that God can and will do what he said he will do he said because see what you speak is what you believe so see, if they start believing that, listen, God, I know the report says this. However, I believe that by your stripes I am healed. They'll speak that out of their mouth. And guess what? Our words have power and they have life. So you got to believe that God can do the extraordinary in your life. How many of you say, hey, Jesse, I need some extraordinary in my life? Notice I didn't say ordinary because the ordinary as commission would say just won't do. But we need some extraordinary. We need some things to go beyond, above the usual, the customary that we have in our life but here we go with that word again that's the word in this house hallelujah we're built on this word and he says they gotta have faith See, it's your faith, your confidence that's going to get your healing. It's your faith, your confidence that's going to get your peace of mind. It's your faith, it's your confidence that's going to get your financial increase. It is your faith in God that is going to allow the extraordinary to happen in your life. People of God, you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to have confidence that you serve an almighty God that can do anything and everything but fail. He can't fail and he cannot lie. If he said it, he's got to stand by his word to do it. Well, what's taking him so long? It's not him. It's not him. It's your mind. You got to get this thinking in order. You got to get your mind in order. Sometimes that mind will have you thinking all kind of stuff. But you got to get it back to the word of God and say, uh-uh, that's not what the word says. I know what you're saying. I know what this body may be saying. I know what the doctors may have said. I know what the lawyers may have said. I know what some of my brothers and sisters may have said. But what does the word say? You got to have faith in your God to know that there is nothing God cannot do. Our God can do some things that only he can do. And all glory can go to him because you say, now listen, this couldn't happen in the natural. Nobody in the natural does, has the ability to do this. But I know it was God working and moving in this situation that has allowed this to occur in my life in the way that it is occurring. 
But we want the extraordinary, but we don't want to serve the extraordinary God. We don't want to believe in the extraordinary God. But you got to start there. You got to believe and know that God is able to do what he said he will do. Listen, I'm here to tell you, people will try to talk you out of your faith. People will try to talk you out of expecting the order extraordinary in your life. People will say, you don't deserve that. Who do you think you are? I know who I am. No, who do you think you are? I do deserve that because my God said it in his word, and therefore I can have it. But see, let them keep talking. And you know what? When they start talking, get even louder with it. Keep speaking. Keep believing. Keep faithing. Keep confessing and keep believe and keep praying and keep confessing the louder they get the louder you get about your faithfulness of your God and watch God do the extraordinary in your life see people are sent to try to come in and kill and destroy we know that the devil does use people and sometimes I have to say this sometimes it's our own flesh sometimes it's us that get in the way of God doing the extraordinary in your lives but you got to get out of the way and say father have your way not my will but your will be done father have your way I surrender all to you father so so you can do the extraordinary in my life and people in the world they need to see that they need to see that we serve an extraordinary God they need to see that we serve an almighty and all powerful God people in the world need to see in us the God that is in us I'm telling you because they want something they're looking they're searching in all the wrong places but we have what they need in the God that is in us so you got to keep moving you got to keep moving I put down stop looking back What's behind you is behind you. It ain't even none of your business what's behind you. You got to keep looking forward. You got to keep pressing forward. Though sometimes you may be tired. So, so sometimes you may be weak. Sometimes you may not even know where you're going. Sometimes you may not understand why is God taking you through this. But know this, that God will not bring you to something that he has not already given you the ability to get through it. You were built for whatever you're going through. You have what it takes to get through this. This will not take you out. As I said last week, that said back is only a setup for you to come back stronger for you to come back better for you to come back bigger hallelujah and for you to show that God is all able he's all powerful to do in your life but you gotta let God be God you gotta let him be God you gotta let God be God well how do you let thank you for asking that question hallelujah you gotta allow him God is such a gentleman he's not gonna force anything on you he says I stand at the door and knock Hallelujah. And if you'll open the door, he says he'll come in. You got to allow God to do the extraordinary in your life. You got to get out the way and let God be God in your life. You got to allow him. You got to let him take full control. You know, that's the problem. Most of us want to drive the car. But I've come to realize when I'm in the car with him, I get right in the passenger seat. I say, it's all yours. You, you riding. You driving this. You steering this. And I'm just a passenger on this ride with you. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, those are the best rides of my life. When I allow God to take the lead. When I allow God to let to do the extraordinary in my life and sometimes you just sit there and you just shake your head and you want to wonder why God why me he said why not you you're my creation you are made a little lower than me he says I love you it is my good will to give to you those things so you gotta allow God how many of this morning will say I'm gonna allow God to be in my life oh, oh you got your hands up God sees you God sees you now you gotta make a commitment to that it may be difficult sometimes but God you say I move out the way and you take full control and you be God in our life and when you allow him to do that no good thing will he withhold from you listen I want to remind you our God is faithful how many of you know our, your God to be a faithful God our God is able how many of you know God to be an able God how many of you have seen God go above and beyond in your situation? How many of you have seen God open some doors in your life that you thought were shut? How many of you have seen God open up some things in your life and release some things on your life that you thought you never could? I'm telling you, I'm looking around this room and I'm seeing people in here who are getting promotions on their jobs. And they were like, Lady Jesse, I don't even know how they considered me. But my name was brought up even in a room that I was not there. And now I'm being considered for a promotion. I'm looking at people who say, Lady Jesse, I didn't know how I was going to make it. How I was going to get through but God sent an angel sent a person by to help me in my time of need you looking at a woman that's standing here that God has healed and touched their body or some things when the doctor said listen this is not this is this is what you got and I said no this is not what I have hallelujah I'm telling you God wants to do it 
God wants to do the extraordinary in your life. God wants to do the unusual, the uncommon, hallelujah, the supernatural in your life. But he says they got to let me. They got to allow me. And first of all, they got to believe that I can do it. Well, come on and put your hands together. If you know that our God is able, you know that our God wants to do it. Listen, I'm like on a bus stop. I got my neck out expecting. You know when you're on a bus stop, you be looking for the bus? I want, that's how you need to be. You got to have your neck out expecting, looking for that, looking for the supernatural, looking for the extraordinary to come, Lord God, in your life. And you got to have your faith there too. Listen, Father, I don't know when this bus coming. I know it's on the schedule. I know it's got to come because this is a bus stop and I know it's got to pick me up. So whenever you're coming, Father, I'm expecting my harvest. I'm expecting great things. I'm expecting my great through, breakthrough. I'm expecting extraordinary in my life because that's the kind of God you serve. So you got to anticipate. You got to come with a spirit of anticipation that, God, you're going to do it. God, you're going to do it. God, I don't like, you know, I don't like that word, going to. I want him to do it right now. If he did it right now, are you ready? If he did it right now, would you re are you ready for it? Sometimes God lets you go through a process only so you can develop character, so you can develop an attitude, so you can know what it is to persevere. Hallelujah. So you can know what it is to stand and having done all to stand. But know this, he always come through and he's always on time. Hallelujah. Well, Father, we thank you in this house. You told me to share with the people this morning that you are an extraordinary God who wants to do extraordinary things in their lives, Father God, but they have to allow. They have to allow you. They have to let you, Father God, and they have to believe that you can, Father. So we thank you, Lord God, for the testimonies that's going to flood this email line of how you're doing some great things in the lives of your people, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that even when doing it, we're going to give all glory, honor, and praise to you, Father God. We're going to let the world know that this is God's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. Hallelujah. And we praise you in Jesus' name. Well, listen, maybe you don't know this extraordinary God that I'm talking about. Maybe you don't have a relationship with him. Maybe you haven't yet to know him. If that's you, can you just lift your hand up? I want to pray with you. I want to lead you to this extraordinary God. I'm thinking probably all of us are believers in here, but we never want to come to a meeting and don't give an opportunity for us to come to know Jesus Christ, this extraordinary God, this big God, this God that's able to do beyond what we can ask or think according to the power that's working on the inside of us. We want to give you an opportunity to come to know him. Well, since all of us here seem to know Jesus, hallelujah, listen, I expect to hear some extraordinary things going on in your life. I expect to hear the testimonies, hallelujah, because we overcome him by what? The blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies. I'm looking forward to that. Well, we're going to go ahead and take up the offering this morning. It's time to sow into the kingdom. Here at Jesus People Full of Faith Ministries, as I always say, you guys are some wonderful givers here. Uh, it never ceases to amaze me just how obedient you are to the word of the Lord. And I'm telling you, we just sit back, uh, Pastor and I, and some, we look over the, um, the report, and I give him a copy of the report, and he looks over it, and we just say, Father, we thank you because of the people that are connected here, the partners that are connected here are obedient and sowing their tithes and offering. And so we use it all the time to be a blessing to other ministries, um, other organizations that the Lord places on our heart, even partners here in our church. We sow into their lives and it's because of your giving that allows us to do that. Also, we provide quarterly reports every quarter for all of our partners only here so you can see what we're doing and how the money is being applied. We don't have any secrets, anything to hide, any Anytime you want to come and you got a question or anything, you know how to contact me. And so, because this is God's work. This is not a man's work. This is not a man's doing. This is God's doing. And so we got to stand and be accountable to him. Hallelujah. First. Huh? And we, we show enough scared of him. Hallelujah. And so definitely we are above board people here. And we just love God. We're always looking for opportunities to be a blessing. Like my mom said this morning, he said, now, y'all having a party celebration and you going to do giveaways? I said, yeah, we want to be a blessing at our party. Hallelujah. Even though, you know, that's, that's just how we do it here at Full of Faith. And so uh, we went yesterday. Um, Pastor wanted some, what it is, ceviche? Did I say it right? C ceviche? Ceviche? Okay. So he wanted some of that for his birthday yesterday. So I found a... A restaurant to eat and um y'all know i'm just kind of a little narrow-minded so i'm looking like uh-uh but it was pretty good i tried it it was pretty good but i wanted to tell you we went there and we were just showered all kind of free stuff i mean it was like giving him free this free that free that they said oh welcome to peru now you're peruvian i said oh lord 
but it's everywhere the man of God goes, it's favor on his life. So y'all know what we did. We, we in turn turned around. It was a blessing to the, to the waiter there at the place. And he was just so thankful. And, you know, the, the, my, my, my Espanol is muy poquito. Muy poquito. But I was able to say muy delicio. <laughs> too funny, too funny. My son, he took two years of Spanish. I said, son, what is this on the menu? He said, mama, I don't know. You better look at the picture. But we were, you know, we were just honored to be a blessing to our waiter um, yesterday. And he was just so thankful and so happy. And uh, we had a great time. Thank you, too, to all of you that texted him on yesterday and wished uh, our leader a happy birthday. He had a he had a kind of quiet birthday. I said, let's go. Let's go and drink, you know, some Martinelli if I need a drink, you know. Get, nah, I don't know if it's older you get. You kind of get a little slow. I don't know. I don't know. I'm turning up on mine. Um, you know, bro. We hanging out. Oh, <laughs> let me stop. Let's go ahead and pray because y'all already know about 8 o'clock. I'm like, <laughs> I missed the Olympics last night. But listen, if you're ready to give, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow into the kingdom of God. We thank you, Lord God, that it is you that gives us the ability, Lord God, to have these funds. And so we sow it, as I always say here at Full of Faith, not out of necessity and not grudgingly, but with a cheerful heart, Father. And so we thank you, Lord God, that these are definitely seeds that are going and growing all across this world, Lord God. So we honor you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Go ahead and put it in with a smile. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, I do have one more giveaway. I sure forgot. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got a good one. I got a good one. I went good. You can play softly, um, Walt, and then we're going to go ahead and dismiss. But this is a good question. Let's see who knows your leaders well. Who takes the longest to get dressed? First one on your feet. First one on your feet. Michelle. You, oh, you going to finance. Okay, go ahead. Tia. Tia. I think Tia was the second person. And second person. Anybody else? Okay, okay, all right, who you say? You got it, you had to say, I said, stand to your feet. Now raise your hand, oh Jesus. But go ahead, but she stood to her feet already behind you. I'm so sorry, but Sister Tia, what do you think that answer is? Uh-uh, you gave me, I said, it's, I said, who, that's one, who, who takes the longest to get dressed? Uh, very good. I wasn't going to tell you who. It could have been Edward Jr. It could have been me. It could have been you. But you are correct. Pastor Ed, yes, you do take the longest to get dressed. Yeah. No, no, no. Come on. Come on down. Let me. I knew this was going to be a problem. See, Junior, I knew this was going to be a problem. But let me tell you why you take the longest. Just this morning, right? Because we have you so welcome, woman of God. The winner is, and the answer is Pastor Ed. Hallelujah. And come on, y'all can stand to your feet with me. But just this morning, see, we have shifts. We have shifts, right? We do everything by shifts. Shifts, you know, ba -ba -ram, ba -ba -ram, shift out next. Ba -ba -ram. I'm telling you, he got the shave. He got the da -da 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 -da. I ain't going to tell the other stuff he put on. And then he got to stand there and look. He only got about 12 teeth. I'm like, they already clean. Then he got to go back again. He got a list of rims. And I'm like, my goodness. I'm telling you, this morning, who was downstairs first this morning? Waiting for, waiting for him. Here he come. I said, okay, well, we would like to get some breakfast this morning. Hallelujah. And let's go then. Now you want to rush out the door. But you know, man of God, he takes a long time because he got shifts, you know. He, he got shifts. Even though Junior takes the longest showers, he takes the longest to get dressed. Please say, Father, I thank you, Lord. I still got the microphone. <laughs> I still get the microphone. But it won't be long, y'all. It won't be long. It won't be long. Listen, go ahead. We're going to go ahead and pray. We're going to dismiss. Once again, Thank you for coming out and celebrating with us. We'll be back next Sunday, regular schedule back on. Um, we're so excited about what God is doing. Remember, we are closed this week. We're getting a little vacation, but we will still be here. Hallelujah. And um want to see you out on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our Faith Fill Up services. And I think that is it. And listen out for prayer, um, fasting and prayer uh, next month. We'll get some more information to you about that. Father,
Father, we thank you for this opportunity to have been in your presence, Father, as we go about the rest of our day. We thank you, Lord God, that you will never leave us, Lord God. We're always representing you and your kingdom. Let us do it so well, Father God. Let people know there's something different about us. It's the Jesus on the inside of us, Father. We thank you, Lord God, for those that participated this morning. Thank you, Lord God, for their lives and for their protection even around all of our partners, Lord God, and their lives as well, too, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for this is your house. This is your place. Your anointing is truly here, Father God, and met us here today, even amongst the celebration, Lord God. When it's all said and done, we're celebrating you being the King of kings and the Lord of lords of our lives. Father, we honor you. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for this is the day that you have made, and we are truly rejoicing and glad in it. As we go about the rest of our week, thank you, Father, for a great, productive week. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, we love you so much. Thank you again. We do have some favors in the back, some cookies. So on your way out, make sure you grab a cookie. Hallelujah. Made for us by um, Petite Sweet Treats. And so you'll like them. They, we had them before. And so we got some more of those in the back for you as well, too. And also, um, we love you. Remember Jesus is Lord and you are dismissed. Once again, thank you.